Hey, how's it going? It's Friday night and I just got off the Samyang MRT station here. I'm at uh, Payatai. Out looking around. Beautiful Friday evening about uh, 9.30. It's not raining, so I'm happy. And here's the Samyang Meta Metatown building. Really good movie theater up on top floor. Uh, house, House of Samyang kind of art house pictures and documentaries. I know how to get over to Papong with the Saladang BTS and I think it's Silom MRT is closest but uh, I was coming out of the movie theater here so I'm just going for a little walk. Beautiful evening. Make my way down to Papong and see what's going on. And I made my way up just like a hundred meters and I'm at Sap Road SAP and the corner of uh, Cipraya Road walking down I'm just going by memory that I'll hit Pat Pong night market down on the left and here's the wish condo looks like 15 20 floors and if you want to look up exactly where I'm walking right now go to Google Maps go to the Russian Embassy and then just draw a line between that and Pat Pong night market on the what was the street I just said Sai Saipaya I can't put up a picture of Google Maps. I tried that in the past, years ago, when I was doing Mexico videos, and I'd get a copyright strike. I don't really understand why Google and YouTube, I think YouTube owns, uh, or Google owns YouTube, but they don't want you using the Google Maps, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it up there if I'm gonna have trouble with a copyright. That's the other reason um, you can't have copyright music on there, so even, Bands around town, cover bands that are playing, say, a Rolling Stones song. Yeah, I can only really put three, four seconds of it. Every now and then, I'll get a warning. This isn't a copyright strike, but that's a clearly a Rolling Stones song, and on and on. So, yeah, it seems like two or three seconds you can kind of let slide by, but you got to play by the rules. Now, here's the, how do you say that, Ver Verticue building? Looks like a nice condo. And you know, this is YouTube's platform, I get it, you gotta play by the rules, but they keep, they keep changing the rules. One thing they're changing, this is, uh, what are we? In the later half of 2023, they are not allowing guys like me putting up videos to decide what's gonna happen with the ads. You used to be able to say, yes, I want people to be able to skip my ads. Well, YouTube said, if you're gonna have any ads playing on your videos at all, we are now gonna make that decision. So I didn't make the change or other people putting up videos. It's uh, just a change from YouTube now. And here's the IDEO Chula Samyan. Very easy walk to Samyan MRT. And here's the chapter building. And we've made our way up to Naret, N-A-R-E-T Road. And there's the Ducey D2 building. And right across the street is a really nice uh, night market. Looks really popular. The Sufai Premier Building. Walking past the Shell Station, and there's the price in liters, 91, 95. B7, B7, ethanol 20. So I made my way over to the Pat Pong Night Market. I can't, I can't do a whole lot of filming in here. You'll get your camera slapped out of your hand, but I'm gonna eventually go in there to Shenanigans, great Irish pub, and have a little something to eat. All the different uh, goods for sale. The, the night market itself, uh, down Pat Pong Soy One, it's, uh, you'll find all kinds of authentic Gucci purses for 10 bucks, all kinds of things. But shenanigans, it's a nice normal Irish pub. No funny business going on in there. Not like many of the other bars around Pat Pong. Another video last year, for some reason, I was down in this area at uh, 6.30, 7 in the morning, and this whole night market in the daytime was just a hundred different stalls of food. Everybody uh, loading up on breakfast on their way to work. And here's the King's Castle. Once again, I'm trying to be discreet with uh, 
all the young ladies hanging out in front of the clubs. They really don't want to be on film. But this is the oldest red light district, or one of them, here in Bangkok. Back in the day, the uh, CIA headquarters was right next door here in the Siloam area. But you'll find dozens of nightclubs in this area. There's also a section of town affectionately known as Boys Town. And there's King Castle number one. I guess the other one's King Castle number two. I'm not sure. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah. And this used to be a beer garden. I'm, I haven't been down here in maybe six months. And we've almost made our way to the other side, down on Siloam. Here's a beer. Here's the beer man. And no shortage of street food. You'll find all kinds of craziness in this Pat Pong area. And here's the other side. It's not that long, maybe, maybe 200 meters long. And we're on Salome and all the uh, Tuk Tuk drivers waiting to race you around town. And I've only walked by it, but if you're looking for Boys Town, this is Pat Pong, and it's just the next little street up on the left. And also just up the street, you can almost see it, the Saladang BTS and Silom MRT. They're kind of attached. It's a little bit of a, a walk in between the two, but either the MRT or BTS will get you here. And this is Silom Soy 4. You'll find all kinds of uh, ladyboy cabaret shows and just different gay bars. It's a cool little area. Right at the entrance is a good Sunrise Tacos. And right at the base of Saladang BTS is Doki Doki, Japanese store. It's kind of a fun little place. And this is Soy Tanya, sometimes called Little Tokyo or Little Japan. It's just a soy exactly as long as uh, Pat Pong. And it's an easy walk away to go upstairs to of one of the many karaoke type bars, buy a bottle of whiskey and hang out. So I made my way over to the Siloam MRT and I'm gonna jump on that and head over to, where am I going? Sokovit Station and maybe jump on the Asok BTS, make my next move. Here's the Thai Japanese bridge.